the dominant form of COVID-19 currently circulating is the Armicron variant which has several subvariants. Among them fastest spreading variants are HV1 and JN1. They are particularly noteworthy due to their rapid spread and ability to evade the immune system. This means they can still infect individuals who have previously contracted COVID-19 or have been vaccinated. It is believed that these new variants HV1 and JN1 are slightly more transmissible than the currently dominant subvariant XBB15. And it's reasonable to think they will be dominant COVID-19 subvariants in 2024. Now let's answer the most critical questions. Do they cause breakthrough infections in vaccinated individuals? Yes, these subvariants can infect vaccinated individuals. This is due to a mutation in the virus's spike protein, which helps it evade the immune response from pre existing antibodies. However, vaccination still offers significant benefits in preventing hospitalization and death from these new variants. Other symptoms different from other COVID 19 variants? No. The symptoms are not significantly different. However, the newer Omicron subvariants more commonly exhibit symptoms like a runny nose and nasal congestion, often presenting as initial symptoms and sometimes mistaken for allergies. Other common symptoms include a sore throat, cough, headache, and muscle pain. In more severe cases, fever, chills, and shortness of breath can occur. Do new variants increase the risk of hospitalization and death? If the new subvariants are more transmissible, hospitalizations may increase proportionally, but not necessarily due to increased severity, rather because they infect more people. Currently, the severity of the new variants has not increased, and they tend to cause less severe and milder infections compared to the original strain of COVID-19. The death rate for these new variants and Omicron, in general, is around 0.5%. However, individuals with underlying health conditions, the unvaccinated, and older adults remain at higher risk for severe outcomes, even with Omicron. The death rate of the original COVID-19 strain was around 2-4%. Studies suggest that the death rate and hospitalization risk are several times higher in unvaccinated individuals compared to those who are vaccinated and have received booster shots. Vaccination efficacy A person vaccinated with two doses of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine is protected from symptomatic infection by up to 60%. With a booster shot, protection increases to about 80%. In both cases, protection against hospitalization and death is almost 95%. The World Health Organization currently recommends universal vaccination, prioritizing individuals at high risk of severe illness, including adults aged 60 years and older, people with underlying medical conditions like diabetes, heart disease, or chronic respiratory illnesses, pregnant women, healthcare workers, and individuals living in crowded settings or with limited access to healthcare. Treatment, Paxlovid, a combination of nimetrelvir and ritonavir, is often prescribed when symptoms first appear, aimed at reducing the severity of the disease, hospitalizations, or death. Another antiviral pill, molnupiravir, legevrio, is also used in treatment protocols.